1 Kings 18. After a long time in the third year, the word of the Lord came to Elijah. Go and present yourself to Ahab, and I will send rain on the land. So Elijah went and went to present himself to Ahab. Now, there was a severe famine in Samaria. Ahab had summoned Obadiah, who was in charge of his palace. Obadiah was a devout believer in the Lord. While Jezebel was killing off the Lord's prophet, Obadiah had hidden a hundred prophets in two caves, fifty in each, and he had supplied them with food and water. Ahab had said to Obadiah, Go through the land to all the springs and valleys. Maybe we can find some water for our horses and mules so we will not have to kill any of our animals. So they divided the land they were to cover. Ahab went in one direction and Obadiah in another. Well, Obadiah was walk, walking along. Elijah met him. Obadiah recognized him, bowed down to the ground and said, Is it really you, my Lord Elijah? Yes. He replied, Go, tell your master, Elijah is here. What have I done wrong? Elijah is over the air. That you are handing your servant over to Ahab to be put to death. As soon as the Lord your God lives, there is not a nation or kingdom where my master has not some, someone to look for you. And whenever a nation or kingdom claim you were not there, he made them swear they could not find you. But now you tell me to go to my master and say Elijah is here. I don't know what the spirit of the Lord may carry you when I leave you. If I go and tell Ahab and he doesn't find you, he will kill me. Yet I, your servant, have worshipped the Lord since my youth. Haven't you heard, my Lord, what I did while Isabel was killing the prophet of the Lord? I hid a hundred of the Lord's prophets into caves, fifty in each and supply them with food and water. But now, you tell me to go to my master and say, Elijah is here. He will kill me. Elijah said, As the Lord Almighty lives whom I serve, I will surely present myself to Ahab today. So Abadiah went to meet Elijah, Ahab, and told him, and Ahab went to meet Elijah. When he saw Elijah, he said to, the, to him, is that you, you troubler of Israel? I have not made trouble for Israel. So, uh, so Elijah replied. Elijah replied. Sorry. But you and your first family have. You have abandoned the Lord's commands and you have followed the bears. Now, summon the people from all over Israel to meet me on Mount Carmel and bring the 450 prophets of Baal and 400 prophets of Asherah who eat at the table's table. So Ahab sent word throughout throw out of Israel and assembled the prophets on Mount Carmel. Before Elijah went before the people and said, hey, How long? How long will you wait for between two opinions? If the Lord is God, follow him. But if the bear is God, follow him. Then the people said to then the people asked. Then the people said nothing, nothing, then the Lord said to I am the only one of the Lord's prophets left, but Baal has 450 prophets. Get two bulls for us, let them choose one for themselves, and let them cut it into pieces and put it on the wood, but not set fire to it. And I will prepare the other wood, I will prepare the other bull and Put it on the wood, but not set fire to it. Then you call on the name of your God, and I will call on the name of the Lord. The God who answers by fire, he is God. Then all the people said, What you say is good. Elijah said to the prophets of Baal, Choose one of the bulls and prepare it first. Since there are many, so many of you, call on the name of your God, but do not like fire. 
So they took the bull given them and prepared it. Then they called in the name of Baal from morning till noon. Oh, Baal! I saw an ass. They shouted, but there was no response. No one answered. And they danced around the altar they had made. At noon, Elijah began to taunt them. Sup, louder, he said. Certainly he is a god. Perhaps he is deep in talk or busy or traveling. Maybe he is sleeping and must be awakened. So they shouted louder and slashed themselves with swords and spears as was their custom until their blood flowed. Midday passed and they continued their factory prophesying up until the time of the evening sacrifice. But there was no response. No one answered. No one paid attention. Then Elijah said to all the people, Come here to me. So they came to him, and he rebuilt the altar of the Lord, which was in ruins. He took twelve stones, one for each of the tribes of Jacob, to whom, to whom the word of the Lord had come, saying, Your name shall be called Israel. The stones he built in the name of, of the Lord, and he dug a trench around it. <laughs> Last enough to hold to seas of sea, he arranged the wood, cut the bull, the the bull into pieces, and laid it on the wood. Then he said to them, "Fill for a jars with water and pour it on the offering." and on the wood. Do it again. He said, and they did it again. Do it a third time. He ordered, and they did it the third time. The water ran down, down around the altar, and evil filled, and evil is the, and evil the, filled, filled the trench. Filled the trench. At the time sacrificed, uh, at the, the prophet Elijah stepped forward and prayed. O oh Lord, God of Abraham, Isaac, and Israel, let it be known today that you are God in Israel and that I am your servants and have done all these things at your commands. Answer me, O oh Lord, answer me, so these people will know that you, O oh Lord, are God and that you are turning their hearts back again. Then, then the fire of the Lord and burnt up their sacrifice, the wood, their stones, and soil, and also and also leaked up at the water in trench. When when all the people when all the people saw saw this, then they feel proverbs and cry. The Lord He is God. The Lord He is God. Then Elijah commanded them. Says the prophets of Baal, and then Lord, then let get anyone get away. They seized them, and Elijah had them brought. Had them brought to the Kishon Valley and slaughtered there. And Elijah said to Ahab, "Go eat and drink, for there is the sound of a heavy rain." So Ahab went off to eat and drink. But Elijah climbed to the top of, of Carmel, bent down to the ground, and put, put his face between his knees. Go and look toward the sea. He, to, he told his servant, and he went up and looked. There is nothing there. He said, seven, seven times, Elijah said. Go back. The seven times, the, the servant reported. A cloud as small as a man's hand is rising from the sea. So Elijah said, Go and tell Ahab, Hitch up your chariots and get them before the rain stop you. Wind mile, the, the sky grew black with clouds. The wind rose a he, and a heavy, a heavy wind. A heavy and rain, rain came on, and Ahab rode. Ahab rode off. A heavy 
then came on and a hybrid of the Jezreel. The power of the Lord came upon and Elijah and tucking his cloak into his belt and he ran ahead of Ahab all the way to Jezreel.